This is a quick tutorial on how to set up a newsletter on Gumroad. The benefits of using Gumroad as a newsletter provider is that it's easy to use, it's free, and anyone who is building an audience on social media should have a way of being able to connect with their community by collecting emails, and using Gumroad is the easiest solution. So, go to the Gumroad website and click the sign up button in the top right hand corner of the page. Enter your email address and a password and click sign up. You will be asked to verify your email address by clicking a link that will be sent to you via email. Click the link to verify your email address. Once your email has been verified, you will be taken to the Gumroad dashboard. Now that we have our Gumroad account, we are going to set up three different things. We are going to set up an automated first post, we are going to set up our profile, and then we are going to set up our product, which is our newsletter offering. So for our first post, go to Post, then click Workflow, then click New Workflow, and then you need to add a name for your first post. We'll just call it Welcome. Once you click Add, Click add email and then this will take you to the page where you will write your very first email. This will be the first email that people will receive once they sign up to your newsletter. So it should be a nice introductory email about yourself and about what you hope to offer and what people can get from you once they've signed up. This newsletter is actually being set up for my sister and so the email has already been written so we're just copying and pasting it right here and then using the different format tools to make it look nice setting things by making things bolder the titles and subheadings a little bit bigger and using some bullet points as well when you are setting up a newsletter it is always a nice idea if you can offer a free gift as an incentive for people to hand over their emails uh, addresses to you. So in this occasion we are offering two word searches and a cute little digital download poster. It's quite easy to do, all you need to do is click the attach button and download these items from your computer. Click the button so that this newsletter only goes out to new followers and new subscribers. Then click the save button, then the little pencil for edit, Click Publish and then click Preview, which will then send a preview to your email address. So now you can see what your first email will look like when someone subscribes to your newsletter. You can scroll down and click the View Content button and that will show you what your digital downloads will look like. Um, you can then click on your links to make sure that they work and see that the digital downloads download properly. So now that we have set up our very first post, we need to go and complete our profile. Under name, add the name of your newsletter and in the bio, add a quick one line description about what your newsletter is going to be about. Then add a profile picture and click update settings. The next thing we need to do is to create our product, which is our newsletter offering. So go to create your first product and then enter in the name of your newsletter. Click the newsletter icon and then scroll down to put the price in, which will be zero if you're offering a free newsletter. Then scroll back up and click next, which is customize. On this page, this is where you'll need to add in a description of your newsletter and what people can expect. I've already written it, so I just copied and pasted. And if you want to see exactly what I've written, just um, hit the pause button and you can take a look and use this as a template for your own. Uh, you have the option of personalizing your link for your product. And for this uh, newsletter, I've added the words free newsletter at the end. Now you can upload some nice images for your uh, product offering. You can either use your own photos by uploading from your computer or you can click on Unsplash which is a website which provides photos that you can use for free. You just need to type in a keyword and then photos that are connected with that keyword will come up and you can scroll through and click on the one that you would like to use 
and then it will just uh, populate onto your product. As you can see from this example, it's a Disney related newsletter. So we used pictures that were Disney related. Once you are finished on this page, just scroll back to the top and click on save and continue. And this will take you to the next section, which is the content section. As we are setting up a free newsletter, we will not have any content to write here, but we do want to confirm that people have um, actually signed up. So we will leave a short message here, which you can just copy and paste to suit whatever your newsletter offering is. Once you are happy with your message here, click the save and continue button and it will take you to the checkout page. Scroll down to the bottom where you can type in whatever you'd like to be on your uh, download button. And here we've written first email on its way. Then click the save button, uh, the publish and continue button. So we have now completed and published our very first product on Gumroad. The newsletter is ready for use. And so you want to test to make sure that everything is working. So I clicked onto a new incognito tab and I clicked on the link to make sure it was uh, visible. I entered in my email and checked that I received the confirmation that I had subscribed and that I also received that first email uh, in my inbox. So going back to the home page of Gumroad, I could confirm that one uh, email was received and one person did actually subscribe, that's me, and that there was a new email on the subscriber list. So that was an overview of how to set up a free newsletter using Gumroad. I hope that it was useful and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.